Hello, hello, and welcome to the fifth episode of Surprise Space Minecraft. I'm going to do a little house tour in this episode. I've almost, oh, hello. I've almost finished building my house, and it looks like this from the outside at the moment. And I'll give you a tour of the outside. We'll go inside and I'll see what else I can fill this episode with. So first off, let's go and see what it looks like from the outside. I haven't spent too long on this, it was quite a fast project. It looks like this. As you may have noticed, there's a large smiley face on the outside of the building. Because, why would you not want a giant red smiley face on your house? I can think of no reasons. So, uh, this is what it looks like from the outside. With a unicorn bouncing around. And uh, that's the back entrance. So, we'll go into the front. So this is the original room, with a strip carpet down the middle, some lovely cot, clocks, <laughs> which are actually paintings, uh, some storage chests, etc, etc. I also found a lot of gold, I'll explain about that in a bit, uh, come through here a couple of furnaces, a uh, wooden sofa and a TV. Oh yes, widescreen. Oh yeah, that's the back entrance. And the stairs up to the balcony where you can watch the sun go down. Currently it's midday, or almost. And if you look up here, you can see the massive smiley face. Which I think looks very cool, but maybe that's just me. Uh, so then you go through here, and I've got some more storage. I'll probably decorate this a bit more, put some bookshelves in. This is from inside the wooden dome sort of area. And then you go up here and into the 360 degree viewing bedroom. Well, not quite, you can't really see out that way. I've got some more paintings just for decoration up there and yeah this is watch the I think the moon rises over there or something uh, it's now midday so you won't see that for a while but yeah that that concludes the grand tour it's nothing special yet but I'm sure as the series goes on, I shall uh, expand it more. Now, what I was going to show you in this episode, as I do need one, is I'm going to make a pool of water and start to make a farm because I need some wheat so I can tame a horse. and ride him as my noble steed. So, first off, you need to create an infinite water source, which if you don't know how to do this, you need one or two buckets, you need a 2 by 2 square, you put one bucket of water in, the, in one corner, and another bucket in the opposite corner, and that should leave you with a pool that looks like this, and you can then take infinite buckets of water out of this pool which is quite handy let's make this look a bit nicer now what else do I have oops you do not belong there. Uh, 
There we go. Easy. Might put some like some torches on the side. Oh, that'll do. Right. Now, I'm not too sure where I'm going to build my farm just yet. I was thinking either out here or have it running, running, have it growing sort of down this face of the hill if I even this out. I think that could be, I think that could look quite, quite good. So I think I'll do that. But first I need to fill in all of these holes to make a nice steady slope down. So I think I'll do this and probably skip uh, me making all of this because it might take a while. So I shall see you in a second. Okay, so I've made a few levels which I can put my farm on. And what I was thinking is having some water balls flowing down to hydrate the plants. I guess that will work, even though it's running water. I don't think it makes too much difference. I, I want you to tell you, to tell you, One, tell you two, name. three, four. Two. Understand that when I come yeah, to visit really you, fun. I'm not playing. Put your hands together. As oh. oh, stop it. Um, you might. Kind of work here. You, I also call on things. I should probably turn them off. They're really annoying. Well, I did have a good idea of how to kill them. If I get, uh, if you kill goo goats, you get goo donuts which explode, and um, I reckon that might work in eradicating the creature from a distance. Because if you're, if you try and melee them, they just lift you up into the air, and you're helpless. Right, so I think that's. Well, I don't think I want it spilling out that far. Maybe contain it for the moment. Oh, oh whoa. Look at me. Behave. Amen and amen. Where are you coming from still? Oh, oh. It's those preachers. They're making it lag. Right, I'm going to turn them off. Are they hostile? Hmm. Spawn limits. No. Animals. No. Oh, they're not on the Mo Creatures pack, are they? Blah, blah. That's annoying. Okay, this is ridiculous. I will be back in a second. 